Okay, I'm planning to use this to knock the bottom out of my pipe in the bottom of my well. And what it is is I took a 2 and 1 8 inch hole saw, which is a standard for door lock prep, and I drilled through some styrofoam pieces that are probably about 3 quarter of an inch thick. And I made a bunch of little round circles, and I am taping them together. And then I'm going to take an inch and a quarter bit down on the inside to hollow it out. So I'll just have a shell around the edge. And uh, hopefully it'll still be pretty heavy that I can drop it down in there, put a string on the one end, and be able to pull it back out. So that's the plan. We'll see how it works. Okay, this came out actually better even than I thought it would. So I taped all those sections together. And then I took an inch and a quarter hole saw and I cut out the middle and then I sharpened this side. So I've got a nice long tube that will slide down inside my two inch pipe. And then, let's see, oh, here it is. I cut another piece that I will tape onto the top of here. so that I can feed that and the metal will go down into the tube. So actually I think what I'll do is I will put this down into the sand the whole way down in and then I'll put some glue around the top here and then put this piece on and then continue on with a sprue up to the top of the sand. And I think that'll work. We shall see. Good morning. It is a good morning today. I'm getting ready to pour this little casting. Um, this is going to be to knock the bottom out of my well pipe. So here's a cylinder. I'm going to put this down in the sand. Then I'm going to glue this top on it. And then I'm going to glue a sprue on it. I like to put tape around it, I don't know why. So yeah, I like to put tape around it. Uh, it makes me feel better about the sand not collapsing on it, I guess. And um, But I did poke a bunch of holes in there with a little tiny wire. So, let's get started.
track so it's going to be safe from the pour and I'm going to go ahead and skim the slag off and pour. So here we go. I really thought that I had used that crucible and those pouring tongs in this furnace before, but I don't think I did. That was a little tenuous getting that crucible out with those because uh, they didn't quite fit in the furnace around the crucible. But I just threw my propane burner on there today because I wanted to get this melt done fast and I didn't want to worry about the oil burner. So, we'll have to shake this thing out and see what it looks like after it solidifies. The metal is still quite liquid right now. Okay, here's my metal. I'm going to go ahead and shake it out before I get to work. Because I didn't want to think about it all day. wonder if it came out. It looks a lot more solid than it did last time we looked at it. Yoo-hoo! Looks like it worked. Let's see.
sort of hard to do with one hand. But I took the tripod down already. Looks pretty good. Looks like I got a tube of metal. Oh yeah. Lost foam is always amazing. And I do have some rough spots in the inside of there, but it doesn't really matter for what I'm using it for.